Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and it's now time to do an unboxing and full review of these bad boys. And these are from the awesome people over at RHA. Once again, thank you them for sending this into me for the review. Um, and these ones are the MA450Is. So you've probably seen I've reviewed the 350s in the past, and I've reviewed some of the other RHA products in the past as well. Uh, and I must say, the actual sound quality for the price, absolutely fantastic. Now these have, you know, hopefully they've, they've kind of come from, you know, obviously requests from what they've seen in the past. The other thing I didn't like about the 350s was it didn't have like an inline remote control. As you can see in this one, they now have the inline remote control, which is compatible at the moment obviously for iPods, I, you know, for the iDevices, hence the 450i on the actual lend. Anyway, let's have a quick look inside the box here. So this is going to be an unboxing and I'm going to come back in about a week or so, and then at the end of this video, well, Halfway through this video, you'll probably see me cut to the actual um, review part of it. So, these are actually going to be getting launched um, into Apple stores. So, yeah, they are actually going to be launched inside a proper Apple stores very, very soon. So, I reckon they've come a long way, you know, by now actually getting into the actual proper Apple stores. And then we sold um, on the online store as well. So, just give you a quick look at the box. Obviously, you can have a quick read of it. If you want to pause your video here, you can actually read it properly. You can do. Let's have a quick look at um, the actual headphones themselves. This is a cool thing that you get. You get, you know, quite a few extra ear tips. And those come in a nice little kind of box. So as you can keep them all together. Oops, they're all starting to fall out, Sam. Ah, so there all they are. Oh, there are there. <laughs> we'll come back to those in the review as well. well. We're here to see the actual star of the show, which are the headphones. So we'll just take those out really quickly. And that's pretty much it for the actual contents of the box. Cool little thing is, they give you a nice little pouch with the obviously the RHA logo on there as well. That's a nice little, uh, nice little extra to give you. Stick that to the one side. Here they are. So yeah, they're the 450 eyes. And I must say, you know, they are very similar to, to obviously the previous ones that I reviewed. Uh, obviously, the difference is now. Oops, is that they've actually got this nice kind of like you know cool inline remote control, you know, volume up and down. That's a, kind of, that's a nice kind of feedback as well, and obviously you need a button too, you know, and, and if he's making a telephone call to end it, obviously the uh, RHL logo in there as well. The actual um, headphones themselves, they've had, there's a slight design obviously in these, uh, the previous ones they were more like a kind of um, a satin kind of look, obviously it's more of a chrome that kind of tricked out kind of look, and obviously a different kind of uh, ear tips are going there. Cool thing about obviously they give you all those different size ones so they'll fit yours perfectly and obviously the RHA logo once again. Anyway people, uh, I'm going to get off this part of the video now. I'm going to do the, I'm gonna go review them for about a week or so. So stay tuned and I shall be right back. Right everyone, so welcome back. So over to this part and now is going to be the review part of the actual video. So I did show you know, what you got inside the box. I'll give you another quick look at them here. So obviously you got the earbuds. I'll give you a look at them now. Now, luckily, the ones that actually came on the device were the ones that fit my ear the best. I did try a couple of the other ones just to see, you know, see which one, you know, if anyone could fit a bit better. Uh, but the ones actually that came fitted on it were the best. Now, you do get these kind of type ones as well. Now, I personally don't like them. It makes my ears feel really weird. But if you're a fan of those, you do get them kind of type. All the other ones are very, very similar. Just different sizings, obviously, to fit your ear. And I did myself, I like the colouring on them, a nice kind of orange here and black and as you can see, you know, just all different kind of sizing that will fit your ear perfectly. So if you've got big ear lobe, you know, big, big in the ear or small, you are pretty much covered with all the ones that RHA do give you. So I do that and I like the idea that it comes in a nice little box kind of thing so, you know, if you ever want to carry them around with you, you can actually take them. You know, I don't know why you want to carry them but if you want to, you can carry them around any time you'd like to. So we'll stick those off to one side. Now, as you can see here, you actually do get that bag that I showed you previously. Now, I've put the headphones inside the bag. Obviously, just for today, to show you, you know, you can use it as this. So, we'll stick the bag off to one side. And it must say, it's, like, it's kind of like a little velour kind of bag. You know, you may use it, you may not, but I do like the idea that you actually get it. You know, they're not just thinking, right, here's some headphones, have it. You know, I've really thought about it, you know, about giving you something to put your headphones in. So, once we'll put those off to the one side. Here it is. So if you've probably seen, you've probably seen my review of the 350s, um, and in the 350s, the actual I can try and try and show it in here. Yeah, you can just see it there. Basically, it's kind of like a, a rope kind of effect. You know, it did not feel like a normal kind of headphone would. You know, let's see if I can wrap it around one and wrap it around my finger and see if I can show you properly. So hopefully, it's coming off from there now. 
as you can see, it's more like a, it's more like a thread kind of you know effect on there. So I mean, on the box, obviously, I'll bring the box in really quickly. You know, as you can see there, it's a braided, I think they call it braided Y cable. So I do think it's a cool idea, and I must say I like the feel of it. And it does seem to help with regards to less tangles. So as you can see there, basically instead of it tangling up, you know, it kind of goes in like that. You pull it out, and it's fine. Now they have got gold connectors on there, so hopefully it should give you a bit of a better connection to your headphone, you know, to your actual headphone jack, headphone socket, whatever it's going to be. Here's a nice long cable, 1.5 meters. So notice it's, you know, plenty of length in there. And then obviously it goes to that the actual proper Y cable here. Get it undone there. Now what I like about this, instead of it being, you know, like your box standard small one to about here, and then that long one that goes around all the way around your ear. I'm not, I don't know if I'm a fancy fan of that. Um, I know some people are, some people aren't. I personally like a kind of Y cable effect. Obviously it goes up to your ears, side by side. And obviously you've got your control here. So obviously this, you know, this is the new addition that we've seen over the 350s is hit this here and as you can see this can be used for making and receiving calls obviously we use for actually controlling your volume up and down and obviously kind of pausing your music etc it works absolutely flawlessly on all the iDevices I've tried it on my iPod, I've tried it on my iPhone and my iPod as well absolutely fantastic, not a problem at all obviously a lot of people are going to say Sam does it work on Android because as you all know I'm a massive Android fan unfortunately at the moment it doesn't work on Android but got good news for you. The awesome people at RHA have, you know, they've told me that they are working on an Android variation of this. So stay tuned for that. You know, it looks like they've been, you know, maybe pumping out an Android version in the near future. One cool thing though that it actually does that does the middle button works. You can actually use it for making and receiving calls, but obviously you can't use it for the volume up and down. That's the only thing that doesn't work. Uh, actually, you know, starting and stopping songs. So if you halfway through a song, you want to pause it, pressing it, you know, it stops it. Which I'm just going to show you really quickly now using my Galaxy S3, just to show you that I'm not just lying to you guys. Not that I would, but you know how it is. So here it is. So I'm just going to actually uh, go into the music player. If I actually tap it. So I'll start playing it. I'll turn it up. Hopefully you can hear that coming out of there. They are really, really they come really, really loud. Which I'll try and put in there, there. Hope you can hear that there. So at any point, you know, let's say you're doing something else. You said, I want to pause my music. Which you'll probably see it down at the top. Oops, bring it back down. Pauses it. Choosing this button here, we'll do it again. So we'll start it up again. And away it goes. Pause it, and away it goes. As I said, the volume up and down, unfortunately, doesn't work just yet. But again, you know, the, 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 there's an Android version in the pipeline. Um, it could even be that an application is brought out to basically update these, so you can actually then start using it on your Android device, which I think will be an awesome, awesome addition. I know it's not something we want to do, but obviously the way Android works, it's got a different kind of way of actually controlling stuff over the iDevices. Yeah, it's not the best way, but it's the only way at the moment. Anyway, let's get down to the actual, you know, sound quality, because that's the main thing of these bad boys. You know, as I said, I've been highly impressed by the actual sound quality of them. Um, you know, I was impressed by the 350s and the price they were selling for. I couldn't actually, but you know, I kind of couldn't believe the kind of sound quality you can get for such a, you know, I won't say cheap, but you know, a very reasonable price for such great audio. These don't disappoint. You know, they offer that same you know, kind of punch to your face. They sound absolutely fantastic. Now, the kind of music as you probably heard there, I listen to a lot of, you know, a lot of rock, heavy metal. But I've actually tested, you know, other kind of music I listen to. So I listen to stuff like, I've listened to like Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, even a bit of Rihanna. Yeah, no, don't judge. But, you know, I like some of that kind of stuff as well. My kind of main music is, you know, kind of like Metallica, Linkin Park, Mudvayne, Disturbed. You know, a lot of kind of heavy, you know, heavy bass, you know, a lot of thrashing. And these come, these cope with every type of music. Absolutely fantastic. A lot of people are going to compare them to obviously stuff like the Beats kind of range. My personal opinion is that I'd have a pair of these over the Beats range any day, any day of the week. Because you get not just the awesome bass, you get the clarity of the actual lyrics. Everything all into one package. It's not over bassy. It's not under bassy. They seem to, to put it in a, in a layman's terms, they just work. You know, I, I've got no complaints whatsoever. Would I recommend them to you guys? I definitely would do. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go pick a pair up.
Also, I want you to go like RHA on Facebook. They are giving away three pair of these on Facebook at the moment. So go give them a quick like and you'll be in a chance of winning three pair of these. And I just want to say, you know, once again, thank you to the awesome lady over at RHA for sending these out to me. Uh, luckily, I had these just before the UK launch. So I've been testing them before they officially launched. They are available in your Apple stores and Apple Online as well. But again, you can go check them out. Anyway, people, you know, would I recommend them, as I said previously? Definitely. Go check them out. If you've got any questions about them you're not to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullum. And that's it, people. Once again, appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you in a future video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.